We're continuing with final exam revision analytical geometry. We're now moving on to question number two, which reads as follows. Prove that triangle with vertices A, B, and C, which are minus 5 and 3, 4 and 0, and 6 and 6 respectively, right? Prove that these, prove that these, prove that these are a right angle triangle. Okay, so those are the three vertices of the triangle, and if we are to draw it, we can see that the triangle, a right triangle, looks something like this. Let me just bring up a shape there. Um, and so... Right, and it meets at a right triangle. Now, as you can see, any two points, when we have two points, there's something special about two points. Well, not really, but the idea is if I have two points and I join them, I get a straight line. So the same thing is, is present when I have an, a triangle. It's made up of three straight lines, right? And the fact that a right triangle meets at 90 degrees, right? That tells us that these two lines are perpendicular. Okay, so if I were to label this as A, and label that as B, and label this as C, then I can say the following. I can say that AB is perpendicular to AC, right? And so let's let's do that. We already know something about gradients that are perpendicular. If we multiply their gradients, for example, MAB multiplied by MAC, if they're equal to negative 1, we can conclude that these are perpendicular lines. So let's do that for the vertices with A and B. Let's find the gradient of AB and let's find the gradient of AC. I'm going to do this in red. Okay, MAB is equal to the following. Let's make this x1, y1, x2, y2, right? So I'm going to say 0 minus 3, which is my y's, and then I'm going to say 4 minus, minus 5. And that gives me the following, minus 3 divided by 4 plus 5, which is 9, and that's going to give me minus 1 and minus 1 third. Now let's find the gradient of MAC. What does this give me? Well, this will now be my set of 2's, and that will be 6 minus 3 divided by 6 minus minus 5. That gives me 3, and 6 plus 5 is 11. Okay, so that is MAC, right? So we've considered two lines now. We've considered AB, right, and we've considered AC, but we haven't considered BC. So you can clearly see that AC is not the perpendicular gradient in our case. So let's see what does MBC give us, right? So I'm going to make B our sets of twos, and this is going to be my X1, Y1 for the set that I'm going to use over here. So let's say 0 minus 6 divided by 4 minus 6. And what does that give us? Well, that gives us minus 6 divided by uh, minus 2, which is equal to positive 3. And so that's actually our solution. If we want to consider this, I can say, well, if I take 3 and I multiply it by this, I'm not going to get negative 1. But if I take 3 multiplied by 1 third, a negative version of 1 third, 3 multiplied by negative 1 over 3, that gives me minus 1. So any two lines that make up the triangle, when I multiply them and they give me a perpendicular, uh, a perpendicular result um, or holds true with this property, then I can say that I've got an answer. Um, I've got a right angle triangle. Okay, so if we had to take this the correct way, we're going to say which lines are actually perpendicular here. It's BC... BC is perpendicular to AB. So that would be my B, and that would be my A, because AB is perpendicular to BC, but not AC. Right. Okay, so that concludes question number two.